Welcome to Electron Online and now let's talk about image processing. Besides having adaptive optics to increase the clarity of the pictures and besides having interferometry to increase the resolution angle or to make it better, to make it smaller, not increase, but to make it smaller, we have this ability to also do image processing using our very powerful computers. How does that work? Well, now that we use CCDs, and pixels in our image capturing so that each pixel actually captures a certain amount of light from the image that we're trying to take. We can take something that looks blurry like this and make it into something that looks very sharp. And how do we do that? Well, let's say that we number our pixels and here's just a small example. And let's say we take pixel number six. That's our central pixel. We're going to look at all the pixels around number six. And when we do that, we notice that pixel number six has a full intensity image, pixel number 7 has a nearly full intensity image, so does 10 and so does 11. So they pass the threshold of receiving enough light to say yes, the information on those pixels is relevant. But then if we look at number 3, 2, 1, 5, and 9, on the outside there, you can see that they only have a partial influx of energy, and therefore we would then reject that as saying those are not relevant to the picture. We then end up rejecting it. And so we integrate all this information into pixel number 6 and say pixel number 6 has enough information, has enough light energy there, has enough photons collected to want a lot that is part of the final image. Also, 7, 10, and 11 are, are full pixel images, so we know that the image is relevant in that direction and irrelevant in this direction, so we simply subtract that from the image and we end up getting something that looks like this is relevant to the picture and this is not, which would then turn into something that looks like this, where 6, 7, 11, 10 are all relevant, but the pixels underneath there are not, and so we discard that information to make it into a sharper image. For example, let's say that number 11 is our central pixel, uh, so we take a look at number 11, 7 and 15 have a relevant information, so we keep that, but 8, 12 and 16, they don't have enough light information there, we end up discarding information, so for pixel number 11, we integrate all the information in, we only see it, deem it relevant on this side, not on that side, so you can see that 7 and 11 would be relevant, and the rest not, and that gets discarded. We would do the same thing in number 15. Notice that the pixels around there are not relevant, so 15 would only have partial relevance, may or may not be included in the picture. And so in that respect, by doing this over and over again for every single picture on the, on the, on the, for every single pixel on the image, we can take something that looks blurry and then reprocess it in something that looks sharp and more defined to get the information that we look for. And we do that a lot with our pictures that we take. Computers can do all the work, we don't have to do any of it, except write the computer programs, of course. And so that's another technique for us to take those blurry images, especially because of the atmospheric interference, and make them into something sharp and meaningful. It's amazing what computers can do for us these days for astronomy. That's what we call image processing.